This video is the first in a series focusing on the cowpea curculio. We will discuss some of the, our recent insect pest scouting and management experiences regarding this major insect pest. Producers should consult the main author or any of the commercial horticulture regional extension agents in Alabama for new information. Southern peas in Alabama are attacked by multiple insect pests. Many of them can be carried over from the previous season. Insect pests like aphids, thrips, caterpillars, leaf-footed, and stink bugs commonly feed on southern peas and move over large areas in search of food. The cowpea curculio has become a major insect pest of southern peas since it is tolerant or resistant to many commercially available insecticides. Adult cowpea curculio rarely fly but are an extremely mobile insect pest that can build up over many years in crop fields. Cowpea curculio has a complete life cycle. Eggs are laid by females at the feeding locations that appear as small spots on the pods. Larvae grow within the seed or pod and are legless. Several instars may be completed in about a month. Pupation occurs in soil near the base of the plant and pupa resemble the adults in many ways. Adults come out of the pupal cells and are very active on plants at morning and early evening. Adults feign death when disturbed and drop to the soil. Cowpea curculios overwinter as adults in soil or leaf litter. Female adults lay numerous eggs singly at each feeding location that result in the spotted appearance or stinging on pods. Several larvae may be found in an infested pod and cause irreversible damage to the crop. The average seed damage observed in Alabama ranged from 25 to 80 percent in untreated research plots. Scientists at the University of Georgia estimate 40 to 60 percent yield loss to be typical in commercial fields. Results of our field studies should be considered primarily. We tested five foliar insecticides on southern peas in Headland, Alabama, which is a region of high pest activity. Weekly applications of bifenthrin and the premix insecticide Besiege delayed flowers and pod feeding by curculios in July. PB08 is a synergist that suppressed resistance causing enzymes and improved the effectiveness of bifenthrin. Biological insecticide like Botanigard need more time to cause mortality of adults as indicated by the arrow. Research will continue in 2016 to corroborate these trends. There are two generations of cowpea curculios in Alabama. Onset of infestation can happen if southern peas are available early to the pest to feed on. Second generation of curculios can be very difficult to manage with insecticides. In this test, the number of stings per pod increased from 5 in mid-July to nearly 35 per pod within a month after five foliar insecticide treatments. Weekly use of conventional insecticides reduced sucking insect pests like aphids and leaf-footed bugs in research plots. Botanigard alone was not effective against a high population of cowpea aphids. Here is a visual of the pods showing a dramatic increase in feeding damage within a short time period. An average of 40 stings per pod was associated with 86% seed damage or contamination. Based on our experience, we strongly recommend producers to scout southern peas very intensively and record the activity of curculios carefully to design a suitable integrated pest management plan to protect the crop. Number of external feeding punctures or stings was positively related with percent damage seeds. Seed damage increased 3.5 times from July to August, suggesting poor control of cowpea curculio adults with foliar insecticides in this test. Producers are cautioned to the repeat applications of synthetic pyrethroid insecticides on large acres to reduce the chance of secondary pest infestation. Always follow the minimum application interval that is recommended on pesticide label. Research by Dr. Riley and Dr. Sparks at the University of Georgia suggests varietal tolerance to curculio feeding. They have also shown some foliar insecticides to be effective after several repeated applications at frequent intervals. Producers must pay attention to the insecticide label and rotate insecticides to avoid causing other problems. Don't quit foliar applications too soon and scout the plants intensively to estimate the effectiveness of insecticide applications. 
UGA entomologists have developed a yellow monitoring trap which has been useful to detect the initial movement of adults into crop fields. We hope to test the device in Alabama and share the results with producers in later videos. Direct scouting of plants in Weedy Host is recommended on a weekly basis or as frequently as possible. Don't forget to look at the bottom of the plants as the adults play dead when approached. Keep records and share your experiences about this pest with your extension agent. We will continue to evaluate conventional and biological insecticides against the cowpea curculio. Effective soil treatments and tillage will also be evaluated in future field trials. Producers experience a high crop damage from cowpea curculio are encouraged to contact the main author or any horticultural regional extension agent to develop site-specific IPM plans that will maximize your profits. Watch future videos in this series to learn about new technologies for pest management. To stay informed about current research efforts, please subscribe to the Alabama IPM Communicator newsletter by visiting the website www.aces.edu backslash vegetable IPM or www.aces.edu backslash IPM Communicator.